Well, you know the story here, don't you? It uh, Monday night. Monday night started out slow. Took me till about one o'clock to break even. No, oh, actually, it was sooner. I think it was eleven. 11 or 12 I broke even and then after that I made another hundred dollars or so and then I got this run out to the airport that gave me another fifty dollars so ah, I hate crosswalks they suck yeah so I think it's been successful for a Monday. I don't need much more. That's all good. The roads are all wet. I'm not going to wash the car right now. I'm just going to roll back into town and watch a few more videos on my phone. Maybe get a couple more calls. It's only 4.17 right now and the shift ends at uh, 6 approximately. So I can just take my time. Oh yeah. We're here again at the airport. And I guess it's not tomorrow that I'll be talking to you. It's today. Um, I got back into town and I went to the bank to deposit the money that I'd made tonight. And sure enough, um, this guy calls and uh, and needs a ride out to the airport no luggage just a ride out to the airport so that makes two rides out to the airport uh, over a hundred dollars in cash over what I had before so I'm at about the three hundred dollar mark um, including two runs to the airport in cash very nice so I've had a good Monday and at the beginning it was looking pretty sad so anyhow uh, now this is probably it I'm gonna get back into town and I'm going to going to be done I might hang out just a little bit now I think that's gonna be it I'm gonna be done I'll shake out the mats and park the car and yeah. I'm just driving through an Indian reservation right now. Um, I was sitting in my usual spot where I sit and wait for calls and I had been watching a video and I fell asleep watching this video. And I got called uh, to pick someone up at a gas station right nearby. And sure enough, this uh, First Nations guy came out of the gas station, and he got in. And I asked him where he wants to go. He said, Sydney, Mount Newton Cross. I said, okay. He said, are you okay with that? I said, yeah, fine. Thanks for calling appreciate the business so I brought him out to the intersection of the highway and Newton Mount Newton crossroad and I didn't know anymore so I stopped the car see now we're coming off the reservation now there's more buildings and lights and things and um, just up ahead is the highway just up ahead is the spot where I was I stopped the car uh, I stopped the car right there right facing that McDonald's and Esso and all that right there and uh, he was sleeping so I woke him up and said I, I said we're here we're at Mount Newton wake up and I said, uh, where do we go from here? 
and he, you know, he looked around, he looked kind of dazed and confused, and he says, where are we? I said, we're at Mount Newton Crossroad. Where did you want to go? From here. I said, I want to go to Mount Newton Crossroad. I said, that's where we are. There's the McDonald's over there. There's the waddling dog over there. There's the shell station over there. Where do you want to go? Mount Newton Cross. Say, okay. This is Mount Newton Cross. We are in a taxi. And he says, oh, go straight. Okay, so I went straight. And I went straight and I went straight all the way and I got to the sign that said campground. And I said, now what? He goes, turn right. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Turn right again. So I turned right. And I got to the end, the very end, there's nothing left there. There was a log in front of us, and there was a trailer next to us, and on the other side there was woods. And he said, where are we? I said, well, I went the way you directed me, and this is where we ended up. And he says, back up. So I backed up, keep backing up. I backed up some more. Keep backing up. Backed up some more. And then I stopped backing up. And he said, where are we? And I said, well, I hope this is close to where you want to be. This is the campground. There's a trailer on our right, a trailer on our left, and there's a pickup truck in front of us. He says, oh, I was just joking. How much do I owe you? <laughs> it was worth 40 bucks so that was cool so now it's 2 in the morning got 4 hours to go this is uh, Wednesday morning it's, it's part of the Tuesday night and it's been going good now I got a couple hundred on with uh, 2.08 in the morning and I got till 6 to go I might not make another hundred but anything more would be just very much appreciated so that's how it's going tonight if anything really memorable happens I'll come back and talk to you again the Tuesday night ended quite well I did about well, in the high 200s. It was almost 300. And uh, can't complain about that. It was a good night. But tonight, it's 11 o'clock. Actually, it's 13 after 11. And I do not have my expenses on yet. I think I might have $85 on. And my lease is 95 and it's already 11.13. That's almost halfway through the night already. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but it seems to be a slow one and a weird one. People, people are a little strange tonight. and They're also... They're not going around very much. They seem to be uh, depressed or something. I don't know. I don't feel very enthusiastic tonight. Maybe because it's kind of wet. And it's not really raining, but it's damp. There's a lot of there's a lot of humidity in the air kind of thing. And maybe most of those people are taking buses. I don't know. But I'm finding it really hard to get to break even tonight. <sighs> well, I'll get back to you towards the other end of it in a few hours. 
It's 5.06 in the morning. I got 264 on. And I was worried at 11 o'clock if I was going to make any money at all. So 264 is all right. With a $95 lease. So that leaves me 170 of which I'll, you know, buy gas. Maybe $15 worth of gas. It's all 150 in my pocket anyway. That's not too shabby. Most of it was Interac. The cash component was like $55. The rest of it is Interac. I have enough Interac to pay for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday lease. And part of Friday lease already. And I'm, I'm only at the end of Wednesday. So that's good. I don't think I'm going to go to the bank this morning. Maybe I should. Just to deposit some of what I got. Yeah. I guess I'll go to the bank. So that's three nights down, pretty much. I might get another call in the next hour, I don't know. It could happen still. Oh well, I'll be back tomorrow. I just got in the car, got my first call, and it was too far away and it was a place I didn't want to deal with. So I rejected it. And about half a minute later I was sent to the same place again. Probably for the same customer. And I rejected that again. And then I had a third call which was right around the corner. At the grocery store, right nearby. Basically between where I live and uh, the cab was between where I live and the grocery store and the grocery store is like a four minute five minute walk from my front door so I, I was in the car I got sent on that call went to the grocery store and went out to the ferries right here is we're at the ferries this is the ferries parking lot we're out at the ferries and I'm got my first trip was 58 bucks she tipped me $15. I got $73 on already. My first trip, the first 20 minutes of my shift. That's the way to start the day. And it's Thursday. So I got tonight and tomorrow night left to go. Well, it's uh, 5.29 in the morning, a Friday morning. And... Um, that last clip was uh, me just getting my first trip of the night out to the ferry dock and that was like a $72 fare and the rest of the night went really well also I had some good long fares I went out to the peninsula once I went to the western communities once I went across town several times I've had a number of fares in the 30 plus range. Now I've only done about 20, 21 fares altogether, but I still have over $400 on. I'd say, let's see, the last one was 15 bucks, and the one before that was 14 so 94 and 14 108 and another 15 it's 108 and 15. I can't add any more. 123. Oh, yeah. It's been good. It's been a good night. The weather now is looking kind of crappy. And I'm kind of fed up and uncomfortable with sitting in this seat. Got these uh, vinyl seat covers that make my ass sweat. And after... 12 hours of that well actually at this point it's 11 hours after 11 hours of that it's annoying 
I put my phone down because I'm going right past the policeman. And policemen are policemen are a pain. We don't want uh, them to see us having a handheld device because they give me a ticket for that. Speaking of tickets, there was one point where I was coming down a hill a little fast uh, while entering the highway. And uh, there was a policeman sitting uh, at the exit of the police station. And I could see him from behind the bushes. So I, we were coming to the point where the speed limit increases. So it was like 50 and it went to 80. So we're doing like 70 where it's 50. And then it gets to 80. And at 80, I was going like 79. And I went 79 for a good long distance until we reached the end of that policeman's jurisdiction on the highway. So we were going through Sandwich, and as soon as you get to Central Sandwich, well, it's not his jurisdiction anymore, and he can't give me a ticket. So I'm going slow, like... Oh, yeah, there's the great big eggplant. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It, it reminds me of an eggplant. It's, it's some kind of a it's, a... it's a holiday season decoration thing, but it reminds me of an eggplant. It's a big tree with lights on it. And I don't know. I, I still think of it as an eggplant. So, um, yeah. It's been that kind of night where uh, my luck was really good, and I was able to uh, go under the speed limit by 1 or 2K while that police car was following me on the highway and I had a customer in the car. I even put my seatbelt on because on the high, even though we're not required to wear seatbelts while driving taxi in town, on the highway we're supposed to put our seatbelts on. So I even put the seatbelt on in the event that he would stop me. And if he wanted to throw the book at me, he would like, you know, if I had the seatbelt off, he would give me a ticket for that and a ticket for speeding and like I haven't had a speeding ticket in something like 15 years if not yeah at least 15 years so it's not like I need one today anyway that's the end of a successful night uh, hope well yeah I'll be back tomorrow you know where we are right we're at the airport again. This is the ending of, so far, a $500 night. It was so incredibly busy. It was too busy uh, until about 1 o'clock. There was no stopping, and it was the traffic was real heavy for the first couple hours I was out here. And the trips were backed up, and there were old calls, and it was just a bit of a nightmare trying to sift through which trips to do and which ones to not do. I just chose to do the ones that were nearby and fresh rather than old and far away. That's the general thing when it gets busy. Don't go for everything there is because uh, you're, you're going to waste your time driving for nothing empty. So in that way it worked out really well. And um, I'm tired. I mean, I, it wiped me right out. And uh, after one, it slowed down a little, but I was still getting some good trips in there. The trips got longer and farther between, which is okay. But at the beginning, the trips were shorter and they were closer together. And now I think I sat for half an hour after the last one and brought this guy to the airport. So... Yeah, five hundred dollar night. Can't complain at all. Uh, the time is now five fourteen. I'm gonna go to the car wash nearby to uh, clean out the, wash out the mats and get the biggest dirt off the car. The roads are still wet, so uh, I don't think I'll be able to keep it clean all the way into town. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the car wash thing and then uh, bring it back clean. Then I gotta add up about a, the whole week of interacts, and there's probably around eight or nine hundred dollars of that stuff in there to add up. 
So that's going to be a bit of a chore. Got to add up all these little slips before I can go home. So, while I go around this roundabout, I hope yours is better than mine.